Well, the first part of the process of changing out the pump has been done. We've evacuated the liquid from the line, so there's no propane in the pump system. Now we need to loosen the belts and pulleys so we can pull the pump off. The beauty of the replacement of the 3021 series pump is that the shaft size of the pump is the same as competitive models, so we can use the same pulley and sheaves, making it less expensive to make the switch out. So what he's doing now is basically adjusting the motor rails to take the tension off the belts so they can pull the belt off the pulleys. There's no piping. The changes that have to be made because of the way the casing of the new Blackmer 3021 series was designed. So no pipe wrenches are required. It's just a matter of using wrenches and maybe a gear puller to pull the uh, pulling sheave off, which is something that all propane guys have. You can see the tension loosening now because the motor rails basically will adjust the tension uh, of the belts. And once you get that loose, then the belts will come off. The motor doesn't come off, no electrical works. I mean, basically you've eliminated any subcontractor that would have to be uh, brought into the process. The same horsepower motor that was pulling the competitive model will pull the Blackmore pump. We're gonna take the pulley off the motor because we're gonna reuse the pulley to put back on the Blackmore. And then we break the uh, flanges off of the competitive model. So it's a matter of taking a 9 16th wrench and uh, breaking the flanges off the top and off the inlet. Um, the only thing that uh, is gonna have to be done is take some of the weight or the tension off of the pipe just so it'll slide off. The pump flanges have an O-ring seal that's gonna keep it from leaking, so uh, one quick little tap on it will, will break that seal, uh, and then it's just a matter of reducing the weight of the pipe so it'll slide off and she's ready to slide right out and slide the new Black Marin. This shows exactly how wonderfully the uh, flange in the Blackmer 3021 series lines up with existing pipe flanges. We'll start the bolts in the hole, leave them loose while we still have the pressure off the piping, and then the bolts will pull everything into alignment. And then you'll see that the uh, shaft of the pump uh, is pretty much in line with the shaft of the motor. So it's just going to be a small adjustment to adjust the pulleys, to put the pulley and belt back in place and have the uh, motor ready to go. So now, as putting any two pieces of pipe together, you will, you will get both uh, flanges started and then tighten your, your systems up and she'll be gas ready. Well, the advantage of the uh, LGL 3021 series pump, as you can see, is it's been slid in place with the existing piping. The, uh, the, pump, the old pump flanges are still uh, intact with the piping. Uh, this piping actually is welded piping, so this is a perfect example of how advantageous it is to have this pump uh, when, when replacing a competitive model. Had we had to change the piping, we would have had to break the unions and pull this piping out. Uh, break the flange out and, and cut the, the welded piping. Uh, using the Blackmer LGL uh, 3021 series, the, the inlet flange um, uh, assembly of the pump lines up with the flange that was already in the piping. The outlet flange of the pump lines up with this flange, slide it in place, replace the bolts, and then she's tied in ready to go. Tighten her up and she's leak proof. The next step would be to use the same sheave and pulley, slide it onto the, um, onto the shaft of the pump. It'll be aligned with the motor um, uh, pulley, and then she's ready to go. Uh, the Blackmer pump is designed to, to turn at the same speed as the competitive models, so there's no change in sheaves or, or, or pulleys or pump speed.